So we have realized that SDB has become a bit of a buzzword and there is a different understanding on the industry. So my colleague, uh, Dr. Moritz uh, Neuskirchner, who, who is the original author of, of the SDB levels, came out with this idea of using a similar concept that it, what it has been done with the SAE levels uh, to, to bring a bit of, of clarity and, and, and transparency of what are the, the different levels in terms of technology maturity for SDB and also what kind of enablers um, will help us reach those, those levels. Yes, we do. We, we also have six, uh, similar to the SDV uh, SAE uh, levels. Uh, we have from level zero to level five. So being uh, SDB level zero is the uh, software enabler, so enabler. So the level zero is basically the, the functionality is enabled via software. Then we have the connected, the level one. SDB level one is connected. What means is that the feature, the functionality gets some information from the outside for example, some kind of uh, traffic warnings or things like that, but the functionality itself doesn't change. Then we have L L SDV level two, which is basically um, updatable. So uh, traditional, typically safety patches, or so you keep the same functionality, but you are able to keep it more or less up to date. Then we have uh, SDV level uh, three, which is upgradable, which is now that the time that we are able to bring new functionalities going to this deliver value through software then we have sdv level 4 which uh, is the software platform uh, and this is really a game changer right so there is when uh, oems are able to decouple hardware from software to have a software pl platform that deliver delivers new functionalities to different car lines which is totally a game changer and then we will have potentially sometime in the future, the SDV level five, which is the innovation platform. And that means creating this ecosystem, not only by OEMs or tier ones, but also third party companies, software companies could use those platforms to develop, deliver, deploy new functionalities to the, to the car lines. Well, the current idea, so, we, we decided to bring this, uh, this uh, as, a, as an uh, Eclipse SDB project because we, we really want to use the, the open source model also for, for this standard. So the idea is to, to develop a standard. It will be managed by the, by the working group uh, inside the, the Eclipse um, um, uh, Foundation. And the idea is uh, that, that that team with the feedback from the industry, uh, with regular um, uh, contributions will define how this, these uh, uh, levels and maybe these levels will evolve with time. And also the, the current idea is to, to similar to with the SE S levels for, for autonomous driving, also for SDB levels, the idea is to bring into some kind of standardization, maybe with a third party company. So OEMs could also certify or, and validate their functionalities and the value in the future using the, the SDB levels. Well, the, the idea is again that it will operate as an open source um, project. So basically, it will get contribution from from all the the, the community uh, stakeholders. So all are welcome to provide feedback and and to help us uh, evolving. And I'm pretty sure that the. the the same that with the SAE for autonomous driving levels evolve, and we also see, for example, now level two plus or things like that that maybe were not in the original uh, taxonomy. Something similar will happen with SDV when when the, the complexity continues growing and, and the, the ecosystem uh, will continue growing, and uh, that will be the, our expectation. That is really an open source contributed um, uh, standard that will benefit us all. So as mentioned before, so from contribute, uh, we are open to, to contribute. We are open for feedback. Actually, since uh, my colleague, Dr. Moritz Neukirchner, the original uh, author, published the first levels, we already got some feedback from the, from the industry. Different OEMs already reached out. 
some of them to ask for permission to use it, uh, others to, to give us some feedback. So we already um, adapted a bit. So the idea is that will be continued. So everybody is welcome to provide feedback. Uh, and that's in terms of contribution. And then in terms of benefits, again, we, we, we believe it will on one hand help um, generating the same words and able, enabling us to have more transparency, how we communicate and how we work in terms of the SDV disruption, technological disruption. And also, again, if the, the idea to move this into a standard, again, it's helping the community so we all could refer to the same levels. So we all could also certify, so an OEM or tier one could uh, present their solutions in the future since uh, presenting us enable SDV level three, for example, or, or that will bring clarity and transparency and it will be, in my opinion, a, a good benefit for the, for the complete industry. Thank you.